Hello everyone, my name is Kent Bressler. I'm a registered nurse and I'm also a patient advocate and the co-founder of a company called Kidney Solutions. 33 years ago, my brother saved my life. He gave me a living related donor kidney and for that I'm, I'm very grateful. When he did that for me, it set me to thinking that maybe I could do that for others. And that's really the mission of Kidney Solutions, is to meet you firsthand as a patient to get you through finding a donor and then being with you through the transplant process and most important, being able to get you through keeping your kidney. We want that kidney healthy and we want you healthy. I would like to introduce to you Grant Pearson and his sister, Vanessa Cox. They both participated in a transplant, and we're going to learn a little bit about that now. So we were on a uh, ski trip in New Mexico. I woke up in the middle of the night throwing up, had like flu-like symptoms throughout the, uh, throughout the night. I couldn't drink any water. Um, I now know that my blood pressure was really high. So through that process, um, I ended up not being able to, you know, ski while we were there. And um, once that kind of passed, then I was able to ski for three days. We got back home and I had blood work done and uh, we found out that I had kidney disease. So I went to a specialist and uh, found out what kind of disease it was. And then we put, we got put on medication, blood pressure medicine and did a diet change and we sustained that for five years. Yeah, so the doctor told me that I had kidney disease and I would need a transplant at some point. It could be a year, it could be 10 years. We didn't really know how it was all gonna work out. So when I first went to the specialist, the nephrologist, she had told me that I needed to have a transplant at some point in life. We didn't know when that would be. So fast forward um, five years and my filtration rate had dropped far enough to where I needed to get a transplant. And then we got ref I got referred to the transplant clinic in San Antonio and the process started there. During the five years, closer to the end of the five years, my father-in-law had been talking with a guy at his work and he had given him a brochure for kidney solutions and so my father gave me a brochure for kidney solutions and I at that point I got in touch with Kent and discussed a lot of things and Kent really helped me understand the process built me up encouraged me um, and we moved on from there so my sister was always involved <laughs> so from the beginning she um, my sister Vanessa had known that if she wanted that she'd wanted to give me a kidney if, um, if that time had come, or when that time had come. So I remember the first day that he came home from the specialist and described that he had um, FSGS, uh, which is a kidney disease and eventually would need a transplant. So knowing that, I really didn't think about it again, knowing that someday not knowing when I would need to be tested to see if I was a match and if he would need me to give him his my kidney. So I always knew that I would give him a kidney. However, understanding the process and where we needed to begin, um, I didn't really know those answers. So Grant introduced me through Kent to Amanda who was a donor as well. And we had dinner one evening with my sister and myself and Grant, and she discussed the process, um, steps that we would have to take. She, did, she helped us understand what we would have to go through for testing and for to see if we were going, who would be a match if either one of us, um, if we even qualified to be a match. And so um, that dinner was very helpful and guiding us through the process of needing um, information on donor, transplant, and um, 
where we needed to take our next steps to. My biggest fear in this whole process was that Grant's body would reject my kidney. Um, I wasn't concerned about the surgery. I wasn't concerned about the process. I was concerned that, um, oh, and that I wasn't going to be a candidate to donate. So the benefits of having a kidney transplant is if you need a kidney, that is going to be, in my opinion, the only way to continue living life. If you go and have dialysis done, it's either temporary or it's only going to work for a little while and you can do almost nothing else as far as provide for your family, spend time with your kids in a natural state. So by having the transplant, I'm able to be who I am. And I actually have more energy since I've had the transplant and, and I'm able to go back to work. So those are all great things. So as a nurse, I've had the opportunity to care for a lot of patients who had to go through dialysis, both peritoneal and hemodialysis. And um, the toll that it takes on them is, is huge and it's exhausting and tired and stressful. And having that experience, I knew that I didn't want to see you or your girls go through that process um, or have to experience you going through that. So the best outcome for me is that his girls and his wife and you, y'all didn't have to endure that. We were able to do a transplant quickly. Uh, we were very blessed in that. Um, from the day of testing of myself and my sister to the day of transplant was exactly 30 days. So I think that that was a huge success and that you didn't have to experience that. So the most important thing for me is to, is to have a kidney transplant. If you, if you need one, don't hesitate to get one. Find a living donor, get the transplant done. And then for me, I'm just so thankful for my sister who donated her kidney to me without hesitation. And um, I'm able to live a normal life because I got a living donor transplant. My advice to future donors or anybody who is thinking about being a donor is to not be afraid of it. Um, God gave us two kidneys and we can live with one. And I think that he gave us two um, for these special circumstances that when we come across somebody we know or we don't know, and we have the ability to give them life and quality of life, I think that that's a gift that we're able to give. So through the help of Kidney Solutions and the support given through them, it was a breeze. And I didn't second guess any part of it. It, it flowed. So um, I say get somebody in your court like Kidney Solutions to support you through it. It's not a hard journey. It's easy. And I don't regret any bit of it. So I have two sisters. <clears throat> and I originally asked both of them um, if they were willing to donate, and of course they both said yes. And so um, we both, we all three went to the first appointment together to um, to get tested and they were getting to tested. see if we would be able to be candidates for donation. Yeah. So they were doing my initial process as well. So we each had our processes we were going through and... Yeah, we just made a day out of it. We all went up there on the same day, and they called Monica back, um, our sister, individually. They called me back individually, and then he went all by himself um, with, well, I mean, with your wife, but with Laura. Um, but they kept us separated. Um, but we got through it that whole day together. Um, came out that Monica wasn't a candidate, um, which crushed her. She was devastated because she was 100% um, willing, and we both were, I guess you can say in a sense, fighting over it. And you know, we were competitive and who could give him a kidney. And so when she found out that she couldn't, it was heartbreaking for her. Um, 
He and I talk a lot about God's timing and reasonings and how things happen in life. And we were born so close together that I think even back when God was forming us and in our mother's womb, you know, that he knew that he was going to have kidney disease and he was going to have a need. And so he knew that my kidney was going to match. Right? Yeah. So you're saying that God created you to fix me. He did. <laughs> and I'll be here for the rest of the time that you, all, you need fixing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love you. I always tell people that I don't call to check on him, I call to check on my kidney. To make sure he's taking care of it. Right? That is correct. <laughs> I have a new kidney and I'm able to live. You can make a difference in someone's life. Help us continue mentoring by donating to Kidney Solutions. Do you ever think about what life would be like if you didn't get a transplant? No. no. Then I don't, I don't have any <laughs> Was it what I was expecting? <laughs> That's the truth. That was, that was a great lead. I was giving him something.